Let's recap. The accounting equation is represented as assets equals liabilities plus your equity. As with any equation, the accounting equation must at all times balance. That is, what you have on the left-hand side must equal what you have on the right-hand side. Let's put the accounting equation to the test and see how it plays out in your financial statements. Now, total assets in the statement of financial position amounts to 74,330. That's the left-hand side of the equation sorted out. We expect the right-hand side of the equation to also amount to the 74,330. Let's see if that's the case. Equity, as we learned in the previous um, lesson, consists of ordinary share capital and retained earnings. This is 25,000 plus the 34,830, which totals the 59,830. This is still short of the 74,330 on the left, however, we still have liabilities that need to be added. Liabilities add up to 14,500, so when added to the 59,830, we get the 74,330, which is the amount of your assets. Added to the equity amount, we come up with that on the right hand side, so we balance. What about the income and expenses? We said that equity is made up of share capital and retained earnings, and that retained earnings consists of current years and previous years' profits. Current year profits are made up of all your income items as well as your expenses in your statement of financial position, which come up to a profit of 20,560, which when added to previous years' profits which is the 14,270 in your statement of changes in equity, comes up to 34,830 after deducting your dividends that are paid out to your owners. This amount looks familiar. It's the same amount that we had in our statement of financial position in the retained earnings line item. When added to our share capital amount gave us the 59,830 and added to our liabilities gave us the 74,330 which was the same as your assets amount in your statement of financial position. This illustrates the interconnectedness of financial statements and how the accounting equation links the components of the financial statements together.